80 years ago. The Communications Act was written in 1934. Believe it or not, this federal law is used as the basis for all of our federal regulations that apply to the internet. Apparently, during the height of Bonnie and Clyde, the Great Depression, and Hitler's rise to power, Congress supposedly had the foresight to oversee and, and uh, predict a free and open internet. I don't think so. The level to which the federal government uses antiquated laws and largely ignores advances in technology makes simple solutions at all levels of government all the more difficult uh, and in some cases even impossible. Like I mentioned earlier, the advancement in technology and our connection beyond our own homes has grown to a place that our younger selves could only dream of. So it seems rather clear that we need to update the laws that apply to this sector. If you have ever heard me speak, you will likely have heard me discuss how important Minnesota's roads and bridges are to our economy. It is not only a critical constitutional duty of government, but it allows for growth and opportunity throughout Minnesota and across the country. Small manufacturers in my district can produce a product in any city, and due to a strong transportation infrastructure, have the confidence that their goods will be transported across a national network of roads, freight corridors, and uh, air uh, travel. But a strong transportation infrastructure is not enough. Broadband is a crucial component of our 21st century infrastructure. Immediate access to knowledge and communication with others significantly contributes to our local communities, the quality of our education system, our competitiveness, and ultimately to our economic success. The lag that we see in broadband infrastructure compared to other countries should serve as a rallying cry that we need to do better. But these changes just don't happen on their own. We all need to be working together on this one. I'm impressed by the fact that the people in this room are not just trying to uh, work to change things, update and expand broadband access by addressing and changing government policy, or uh, better known as the public sector. I'm impressed by the fact that you've actually taken matters into your own hands. Minnesota companies invest millions into our local economies each year. In fact, Minnesota Telecom, the Minnesota Telecom Alliance boasts that last year alone, Minnesota, Minnesota's member telephone companies contributed $6.7 million to local economic development activities. This is something to be proud of. Your contributions are benefiting and will benefit thousands of Minnesotans, many of whom are in my district. There are many of you that I can celebrate today, but please allow me to specifically congratulate uh, one. I want to call out Comcast. Because Comcast offers a package of services to families, many of whom are in my district or the district that I represent. Uh, many families, uh, this package is offered to families who have a student attending a school where more than 50% of the student body is eligible for the national lunch program, school lunch program. I commend Comcast because this package, again, benefits many of the residents